Con right now, and no team's playing better than Sean Sutton's OSU Cowboys. Longar, Longar with Blake Griffin out has to come up big for the Sooners of Jeff Capel. For the 212th time, it's Bedlam tonight in Stillwater. Dove misfires a three. Tyler Hatch almost had a putback. Uh, we might see quite a battle on the boards. Now you figure Oklahoma would have a rebound advantage, but without Blake Griffin, who knows what that front line is going to look like. And also remember, Longar, Longar play, playing with a broken leg, but putting in big minutes recently. Down to the block, and Longar scores over Ibrahim Thompson's building. That gets the crowd involved. Tony Crocker over Tyler Hatch. The three rattles out and goes right in for it. First time down the floor that Oklahoma has not run their offense through Lario Bogan. Look at Dove. Wow. A 360 without traveling. And Marcus Dove puts the Cowboys on top. Three and a half minutes in. Playing with a lot of confidence offensively his last couple weeks. Double figures his last two times up. Had a double-double earlier this year at Missouri. Tyler Hatch trying to stay with Tony Crocker. Little fall away. Bricks on him. Longar, Longar the rebound. The left-hander. And Oklahoma goes back on. This rivalry not only as good as any in this league, but as good as any in the country, regardless of the season. Austin Johnson to Longar, Longar. Thomas guarding him. Longar looking to get into the paint, elevates and scores. And Longar, Longar looking like a true dominant postman so far. Well, doing it. Uh, every I think you, we clearly saw the last touch was Sidorkas before it rolled backwards. Leary inside, K. Davis back to him. Oklahoma having a hard time penetrating the Cowboy defense. Well, they got better ball movement and better movement without the ball by all their players. Still having a hard time getting inside. And a three goes down left side to Leary. After the boys here, Oklahoma hasn't scored in a while. Longar, Longar, right wing. And Oklahoma State stepping up that defensive pressure. You think back over the years, their best offensive teams have been teams that have been able to get a lot in transition. How about Longar Long? That was a line drive off the glass that had very little arc to it. And Sean Sutton wants a 30-second timeout. Well, he also wants to talk to Hal Lusk about the move inside by Longar Longar. Feels that he's using that left arm to clear out the defender. But this aggressive OSU man-to-man. -man. Well, Oklahoma State did not start out with this kind of pressure in this ballgame, but they stepped it up over the last three or four minutes. Right down to Longar, an entry pass from the sideline, if you will. Longar goes up and finger rolls it home, and he's into double figures already. He loves to go find him in transition. He calmly takes the three, ripped down by Cade Davis of OU. That's a terrific look right there. As well as he's been shooting it lately, he's been so much more efficient in league play this year. Cade Davis drives baseline. He gets hammered. Adams and Dove, both of them saying, uh, you're not coming in here, freshman. It's going to be on Martavius Adams, his second. Oklahoma by one, 12 and a half minutes in. You like contact? And we're back after this from your friends at Phillips 66. Part of five minutes. And remember, he's on the floor now with two fouls. Back to the man-to-man -man defense for Oklahoma. Manello, Austin Johnson on him. Short with the shot. Loose ball, David Godbo somehow keeps his dribble. If you ever want to see why players do dribble drills, it's for plays like that. Crocker a catch and shoot three. Tony Crocker with his second tray of the night. Game started off quickly offensively. Bit of a grinder for the last 10 minutes. Eton releases Dove for a three. Marcus Dove. By far the best offensive year of his four-year Cowboy career. And they talk about players making everybody around them better. Well, Byron Eaton right there took two defenders with him. Instead of the pick and roll, it was the pick and flare. Dove getting out behind that three-point line wide open because Byron Eaton had two defenders on him. Well, when you're a senior, you got to score. He's been a great defensive player for all these years. Here's Longar. Releases it. Omar Leary. His three stays in, and Omar Leary has a pair of threes tonight. And Jeff Capel will use it. Gets bogged down on one side. That's when the shot clock seems to be wasting away. Eton on the drive. Anderson. And that's a three for the freshman. Good three-point shooter has had to adjust his game as he got into league play. Teams are making him put it on the floor a little bit more. Manello, Byron Eton, very good at penetrating the zone defense. Anderson would rather hang out on the perimeter. Cowboys by three again, down to Longar they go. Tony Crocker, great recognition. He saw Eton come. 
Oklahoma worked on their inbounds plays early this afternoon with their shoot around. See if they get a good look here. Ooh, they had David Godbold in the left corner for an open look, but didn't see him there. It's Godbold to Tony Crocker, who can shoot the three or slash. That's a deep three, and Tony Crocker has his third tray of the night, 11 points for him. Well, you talk about a slash. The ball the way, all the way down yeah. to the end. All the guards they have on the floor right now, and Oklahoma State's going to let them do it. Yeah, they don't want to play defense for any more possessions. Oklahoma with 10 fouls already. Tony Crocker out deep. Plenty of time here. Shot clock at five. Crocker for three. He banks it in, and Tony Crocker has 14 in the first half. Cowboys out of time, and Oklahoma will lead at the break by two. Five ties, six lead changes. Now Oklahoma State led by Oklahoma State applied more pressure on the guards of Oklahoma after about the first eight or nine minutes. Oh, of the look at Austin Johnson score his first basket of the game. You might say he pulled an Eton on Eton right there. Well, he doesn't put the ball on the floor and drive very often. Doesn't shoot many free throws for a point guard. Normally out on the perimeter right there, not as comfortable. Figures for Marcus for the 14th time this year, and the Cowboys a badly needed basket. Oklahoma State has two guards that can penetrate the defense: Byron Eaton and Obi Manella. Both those guys have the ability, the quickness, and the strength to get wow. out of the defense. What a slash by Tony Crocker and an OSU foul. It'll be on Martavius Adams, his third. This is how good Tony Crocker can be. Oklahoma has seen flashes of him this year. He can hit the three, he can slash and score. Sooners by eight. Byron Eaton with that third foul now forced to back off of Austin Johnson a little bit. Johnson back to Crocker. They want the ball in Tony Crocker's hands the way he's going. Taylor Griffin, one on one with Marcus Dove, the defensive stopper, who gets another one. Here's Crocker driving the ball again. Tough shot! And Tony Crocker has 19. You cannot fault the defense right there. Terrell Harris just staying right. Layman. Crocker goes deep. Got bold to Johnson. Austin Johnson looking to get underneath. Got it. And he's fouled. Third time in this half that Austin Johnson has made a play by putting the ball on the floor, getting into the defense. He scored on two occasions. He dished off on another. Boy, and that's against one of the best defensive players in the country right here. Well, actually, he beat his man well out on the perimeter. It was Dove and a switch right there. Trying to take away by 10. Sooners in a two three zone defense now. Obi Manello, and that's double figures for him. This is shaping up as a real nice second half. Oklahoma has to like the position they're in, leading by seven with the basketball, eight minutes into this half. Austin Johnson, deep three. And with now he has nine since halftime. With a hand in his face. 8.30 to go, Sooners by 10. Byron Eaton kind of rushed that last play. Really didn't need to. He had the numbers. He was already three on one. Trying to force the issue. That caused the mistake. Crocker to Leary. Tony Crocker. Another big shot. And that's 22 for Crocker tonight. Leary in front of him. Into the corner. Great save by Dove. But it's picked up by Godbold. Don't okay. have numbers. They'll pull it back out. And this is going to run it down to four and a half minutes to go. Austin Johnson underneath. Great feed for Taylor Griffin, and Oklahoma leads by a dozen with four and a half to go. Martavius Adams, first basket of the night. Manello slaps it away. 30 seconds to go. Dove shot blocked by Taylor Griffin. Tony Crocker, a little exclamation point, and he misses on it, but Taylor Griffin gets it right back to him. He hands it off, and Austin Johnson says, we've taken enough shots tonight. He'll dribble it out. And Oklahoma's going to win it 68-56 and sweep the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Sean Sutton already on his way down to see Jeff Capel. Absolute shock in Stillwater, Oklahoma right now. Both teams came into this game very confident. Both of them came in with a plan that they could win it. It was Oklahoma who was able to execute their plan here this evening. Playing on the road. Remember, the last two times they went on the road, shot right at 30% and scored 45 points in each of those two losses. How good were they here tonight after coming back after those two road losses? 8 of 15 from three-point range. Tony Crocker, 5 out of 5. Sooners win it 68-56 for Paul Splitart and our entire ESPN Plus crew, Bob Carpenter. Tune in Saturday, 12.30.
Studio 66 with Baylor at Tech and then at 3K State and Iowa State.